Our goal is to win the division, win the state championship, uh, win the ACC, and win the closer. It, it's, that's our goals. If we can hit those, uh, we've always said if we hit all five, we got a chance to win it all, and here we are. We're not driven by that. We're driven by being the very best we can be. Uh, to say that every team that's played is a failure that's not one of these two, that's, that's so far from – reality uh, there's a lot of teams that ended their season with a win that, that uh, have built great momentum going into next year there's a lot that goes into getting here you got to stay healthy uh, I mean guy you could you could have had a big injury to a great player and now maybe you lose two or three games and you're not here but maybe the guys played their hearts out that doesn't mean they're failures uh, success is about being the best and committed to being the very best you can be uh, we knew we had a chance to have a good team, but, you know, I mean, we lost seven, eight guys to the NFL defense. So we had a lot to replace. We had a lot of work to do. But the guys were very driven toward that commitment of being the best we could be. And uh, I think that they knew that if we took care of business, we'd have an opportunity. But you don't get here unless you, uh, you know, have a great spring, have a great summer, do the right things, be committed. Uh, you know, uh, get off to a good start. You got to win in September. You got to win in October. You got to win in November. So it, it all builds to this point. And that's really been our focus, just a daily focus. Every week was the biggest game of the year. Every week. And just approaching it that way. And it takes a buy in from your team to, to achieve that. And then we were fortunate. We stayed, you know, relatively healthy all year and uh, uh, won some close games. And, and so, you know, we're thankful to have the opportunity, but but if I wasn't sitting here right now, I would not feel like we, that our team was a bunch of failures. What makes Jonathan Allen so good, and how do you contain him? What makes him so good? Uh, big, strong, fast, uh, well-coached, got heavy hands. Uh, he's got violent hands, man. These guys disrupt the ball as good as anybody we've played. Uh, he's just a very knowledgeable player. He's been there, and I mean, if you stay, I mean, they've got great coaches. So, and then, and then his drive is obviously the, the young man has put in a tremendous amount of work in uh, preparing week in and week out, uh, studying the opponent, studying the the, the, the lineman that he's going to go against, and then I think they they do a good job of moving him around. You know, he doesn't just line up in one spot. He's He's a five technique, nine technique, three technique. He's all over the place uh, and uh, does a great job everywhere. Are you gl are you glad that it's Alabama again? I assume you want to get back in the team that beat you. Well, I'm glad we're here because uh, that's the only thing that we can control. We don't control the other side. But but at the end of the day, uh, to me, it, this is the way it should be. Um, we we're playing. They're the best, and I mean, there's just nobody can nobody can argue that. Uh, what they've done is unbelievable. Uh, I mean, just unbelievable, the run that they've had. So, you know, this is an opportunity. I mean, you want to you want to be the best, and you, we're getting a chance to, to play the best. And uh, we find a way to win this game, uh, you know, we'll be just that because, you know, you, you knocked off the champ. That's just the way it is. They got the swag. They got the belt. And uh, if we want that, we got to beat them. What, impress, that? what impresses you the most about what Coach Saban's been able to establish there? His consistency. Uh, I mean, I, I, I know how hard it is. And, uh, you know, just year in and year out. I mean, and obviously, you know, Alabama has, you know, unbelievable foundation of, of tradition and championships and all that. Uh, and and they're gonna, they've had the number one recruiting class every year probably since it's been there. But you still got to develop those guys. You still got to coach them. Uh, you still got to create a, a buy-in week in and week out. And, you know, I spent 13 years there, so I understand the uh, expectations there. I understand, you know, that when Alabama rolls out on the field, uh, man, every week, that, that's – they're going to get everybody's best, and that's kind of where we are as a program now as well as far as, you know, how people view us and, and the type of effort and preparation that we get from every opponent. Uh, so to do it like he's done it year in and year out and to win the, the ultimate prize, uh, I, I guess, uh, four times, five, four times already uh, is, is just – it's incredible. It's incredible. And uh, just, you know, you, even the same thing. They lost a ton of guys last year. <clears throat> and uh, here they are. Got a freshman quarterback. It just doesn't seem to matter. Uh, they have a very good system in place that they believe in. And, and uh, they recruit to that and develop their players to that. As good as I haven't been a part of that program as a player, 
and then under Gene Stallings as a coach. And there's some parallels between Stallings and Saban beyond the fact that they both had great dominant defenses. Uh, they're very different, very different people. I know them both, obviously, uh, but very different guys. Uh, but I, I think probably the biggest parallel is, is what you said is defense. Uh, you know, I spent seven years with Coach Stallings, and, and uh, you know we were we were efficient on offense. I mean, different. Play, it was a different era, different time. I mean, if we threw it ten times, I mean, we were celebrating on the sideline like, holy cow, we're we're the air raid now. We threw it ten passes. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're built differently. He's doing it differently offensively uh, now with, with their style of play. I think he's made some adjustments there to where we are in college football. But at his core, it's still all about defense. <clears throat> and that's certainly where it was with Coach Stallings. And uh, to be honest with you, that's where, it's, that's where it's always been with me. I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a, I've, been, I've been an offensive guy by trade my whole life. But, and, uh, you know, that's certainly where I, I spend the majority of my time. But, uh, I, I know because that's that's what I cut my teeth on. Uh, you you got to I believe in having a very well balanced team, and uh, I think you win championships with team, uh, not just defense. But I know that if you're good up front, you're good in that front seven, you got a chance to to win each and every week. And uh, so that's kind of always been a philosophy of ours.